Let's hope this doesn't fly apart and flood my house. I've never done a test like this in person. I've made kind of a rudimentary, clear version of a thermal expansion tank. This is where your expansion tank comes in. Today's video is going to be about thermal expansion tanks. Let me give you a visual real quick on what an expansion tank does, and then you'll get to see what it does in relation to pressure. As you've seen in this video, this is our thermal expansion tank, but it's all steel and you don't really know what's going on inside of there. I've made kind of a rudimentary, clear version of a thermal expansion tank so you can see what's actually going on inside here. We've got a big bladder tank, big bladder tank. It's connected to a water source. It's connected to a water source. Mine's on the bottom, that one's on the top. On the bottom here, you have an air Schrader valve that is connected to a big balloon, a big rubber balloon inside this tank. Inside our tank, I actually blew up a balloon. There's a red balloon inside there. Literally about the only difference between this one and that one is with this one, I can't really do much for controlling the air pressure in the balloon. Let's come down here to where I can connect to my valve that I'm at. As I open this valve, we're gonna force more water to get into this cavity. Water does not compress, but air does. Water is, is close enough to a solid that it does not compress. As we do this test, you'll, again, you'll have to forgive me, very difficult to connect garden hoses to bottles. I've got it connected the best I can. I wrapped a bunch of tape around it, but it's gonna leak around here a little bit. No big deal. You'll still get the idea. So what's gonna happen is as I open this, this is gonna continue to fill with water and you're actually gonna see the balloon inside here shrink because what it's doing is it's increasing the air pressure in that balloon tremendously. Well, here we go. Let's hope this doesn't fly apart and flood my house. So we're adding just a little bit of water and that balloon is getting smaller and smaller. And now if I were to flip this over, you see the balloon is no longer rubbing on the sides of the tank. Now the balloon is so small, it slides up and down the tank. I can even add just a little bit more and make the balloon even smaller. So the more water I put in there, the smaller the balloon has to get. Well, this is exactly what goes on inside your thermal expansion tank. Inside your thermal expansion tank, as the system increases its pressure and builds volume, it crushes the rubber bladder that's inside the expansion tank, and that allows the volume to move into the tank temporarily. As you go open a faucet or use any water in your home, that bladder will immediately expand back to its normal size. All of the water will immediately leave the expansion tank and then just go become part of the rest of the system. This is a very clear version of what happens inside your expansion tank. We can even try to go even a little bit more here and make this balloon even smaller. Okay, that's pretty cool. That balloon is very tiny inside there, especially compared to the size that it started out at. There's a lot of pressure in here. I'm afraid it's gonna blow off here in a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and open this back up. Now what's happening, it's gonna simulate like turning on a faucet and getting rid of all that pressure. So watch as I open the hose, you're gonna watch this balloon rapidly expand real quick. It's gonna go back to its original size because that air was compressed, but now it's gonna be allowed to expand back out. And all this water that's dripping around everywhere, this is all of the extra water that was happening to cause the bladder to crush. Now that balloon is back darn near to full size. Do us a favor and throw a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. Share this amongst your colleagues if you're a plumber and you think this was a really good informational video. And if you're a homeowner and you wanna learn more about all things plumbing within your home, go ahead and subscribe to the channel because that's the whole purpose of this channel is to show you everything we can do with plumbing and just how fun it is to start and run a small plumbing company in the middle of America.